All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. And for the third segment of today's show, we are going to go through the American League playoff picture, talk about the scores from last night involving those games, uh, involving those games, and, uh, yeah, we'll look at the, uh, the updated standings. Because, again, between that and the National League uh, playoff picture, it's always changing. Now, divisions are wrapped up. Well, in the National League, they're wrapped up. Um Right now, nothing is set in the American League. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's always changing. Again, but before we get into that, once again, um, to tip or donate to the show, just to remind you guys, um, go to streamelements.com slash gsmcsportsnetwork.com slash tip. We really appreciate that. And then, once again, for bonus coverage materials that are not um, on this show, uh, make sure to go check out patreon.com and search up GSMC Sports Network. Um, we greatly appreciate that. And once again, showing up the uh, the graphic for that. So make sure to go check that out. I'll be recording that after the live stream. And uh, yeah, we, great, we, uh, we appreciate that. So again, just wanted to get that out of the way. I'm trying to, uh, you know, keep myself hydrated during the show. I got my water bottle here because my my, my uh, I, I find myself you know getting uh, dry as I'm uh, as I'm talking, so I'm trying to uh, you know keep myself uh, hydrated so it, that doesn't happen. But um, yeah, so let's now get into the uh, the third topic of uh, today's show, which is discussing the AL playoff picture. So we'll go over the scores revolving that and then we'll uh we'll look at the current standings at the moment so last night i did talk about this the uh the blue jays they defeated the yankees six to one uh gausman pitched very well he's now 12 and nine on the season with a 3.29 era and let's see how many strikeouts did he end up with uh, last night so he had 10 and uh you know if you're pitching against the yankees uh, you're most likely um gonna get double digit strikeouts because that's you know, a lot of times that's all this team does is just strike out. So, um, so we'll look at the uh, the game summary. So, Bo Bichette started off the the third inning with an RBI single. Uh, Spencer Horwitz, uh, he was walked in. Uh, uh, Whit Merrifield was walked in. So back to back, I I didn't even see that honestly, because <laughs> again, I I really I really just don't want to watch the Yankees at the moment. I just I I. I can't do it with how they've been playing this year. I, I just, it, it's just very frustrating. So that made it three nothing. Then Bo Bichette, another RBI single, that led to it being four nothing. And then Spencer Horowitz, he singled, scoring a pair of runs, that made it six nothing. And then Austin Wells hit his first career home run, and that made it, uh, excuse me, six to one. In the bottom of the ninth, and that was the final score. So the Blue Jays again, they pick up a big win there, 85 and 67 on the season now, and that's big um, considering that Vlad Guerrero has missed uh, a couple games with a knee injury. So uh, Blue Jays, they got, they did what they were supposed to do, and they try to go for the sweep tonight. It's going to be tough. You got to deal with Garrett Cole, but they got Barrios on the mound, who's been um, who's been good for them this year. So uh, we'll see how that goes. So then uh, the Twins, they picked up a win against the Reds, 5-3. to three. So they get closer and closer to clinching that division crown. Right now, their magic number to clinch the Central is 1. So they are going to get that done by this weekend. So um, when that happens, we will, you know, we'll, we'll probably mention it tomorrow when we go over, uh, go over these again. But, yeah, so, um, so that happened last night. So we'll actually, we'll look at the uh, the game summary there. So um, the Reds actually were leading the game two nothing, and then uh, Willie Cast uh, Castro hit a home run, made it two to one. Uh, Luke Manley had a single, which made it three to one Reds. Then Julian he hit a RBI single, make it three to two. Kyle Farmer RBI single to tie the game, and then Jorge Polanco had a two run single after that. So that was in the ninth inning. So the the Reds uh, blew that game. Which is not good, because uh, the Reds are trying to, you know, we'll, t- we'll touch upon it in the next segment. They're trying to, you know, fight for the wild card spot there. So, 
Um, that was a that was a big loss for the Reds, but good win for the Twins, and they will uh, they will clinch the Central by either tonight or tomorrow, and uh, we will uh, we will talk about it. So um, yeah, so they win five to three. Rangers picking up a win in a big way, fifteen to five over the Red Sox to improve to eighty four and sixty eight on the season, and. Yeah, that's a big win for them. Uh, Martin Teen Perez picked up the win, ten and four on the season, uh, so he improves to that. And let's go through the uh, the summary. So actually, Red Sox were up four nothing after the first two innings. Uh, Adam Duvall, he hit a, uh, and we just talked about him, you know, because the Bra- part of the uh, Braves World Series team, uh, he hit a three run home run in the top of the first to make it. 3 nothing Boston. So it was 3 nothing after the first. Uh, Bobby Dahlback hit a home run in the top of the second to make it 4 nothing. Then Jonah Heim, he hit a three-run home run of his own to make it 4-3. Mitch Garver had a home run to make it 4-4. Simeon, two-run single, 6-4. Then Tavares, a single in the bottom of the third to make it 7-4. Uh, Simeon uh, was walked with the bases loaded to make it 8-4. Adolis Garcia had an RBI double. Tavares a sack fly, Corey Seager with an RBI double, Josh Young a two-run home run to make it 13 to 4 and then Evan Carter hit a two-run home run as well to make it 15-4 and then uh Rafaela he had a single to make it 15 to 5. And that was the uh and that was the final score there, but big win for the Rangers. They improved to 84 and 68. Um Astros were able to pick up a win against the Orioles, so they salvaged the final game of the series. And the Orioles actually were up one nothing the whole game, and then the Astros scored two runs in the uh, well, one in the eighth, and then one in the ninth. Um, Dubon was the hero with the walk off single in the bottom of the ninth. Astros, that's a big win for them because the Orioles are really bringing it. And, uh, yeah, so now they improved to 85 and 68. Orioles dropped to 95 and 57. However, the Rays lost last night. So that was a big game for the Rays. They lost 8-3 to to the Otani-less and Mike Trout-less Angels. 8-3. to uh, Savali did not pitch well for them. Um, so now the Rays dropped to 93 and 60. So that really stinks for them because they could have really made up some ground there. Mariners won six to three over the A's, so they improved to eighty four and sixty eight as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the uh, when it when it comes to the American League with the scores. So right now in the standings, um, the Rays are still two and a half games back. Orioles magic number to clinch the division is eight. So, um, but it's big that the Rays lost because that could have been huge if the Rays were able to make up ground. And you figured they probably would have beat the Angels last night, but that was not the case. Um, so yeah, and then, um, you look at the the central, like I said, the twins magic number is one, so they'll get that either tonight or tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, every team in the American league West won last night. Well, except for the A's, but they don't count. Um, cause they're, they've been out of it. Unfor- uh, unfortunately for their fans who have had to suffer through this year, uh, they are, they are out of it at the moment. So, out of they're they're out of it. I shouldn't say at the moment, but yeah, not, not a uh, to to put it nicely, it hasn't been that good of a year for the A's. Um, but yeah, so the Astros half came up on both the Rangers and the Mariners. Um, we'll see. Uh, it, it's uh, it's going to be close to the end, but uh, that was a big win for the Astros, especially because. Um, you know, they, they can't afford losses, but the team's right behind them winning. Mariners have won three in a row, playing the A's. Texas has won two. So, um, but now we look at the uh, wild card standing. So right now the Rays, of course, are at the top. Then you got the Blue Jays, who are a game up on Seattle and on Texas. So they're tied right now, the Mariners and the Rangers, for the third wild card spot. And, uh, yeah, we're still waiting on two more teams to just be officially eliminated. The Red Sox... Uh, one more game and they're eliminated. And then the Yankees are three more. So the Yankees at least will be mathematically alive for one more day. But um, 
for by Friday they could be officially eliminated, which I would be happy because I just want this year to be over already. <laughs> just get us to just, just get us to the the playoffs, please. I I can't I can't do this anymore. But uh, yeah, it's it's very close, and um, you know the Rangers and the Mariners are going to be playing each other, and uh, the Mariners and the Astros will play each other one more time. So uh, it's going to determine a lot. And then you got the Blue Jays who got the Rays uh, after the Yankees, and then they got the Yankees again, and then they got the Rays again. So they got an easy stretch of games, a hard, uh, an easy series of games, a hard series of games, then an easy series of games, and then a hard series of games. Because that's the level of competition uh, disparity between the Yankees and the Rays. So they get a break when they play the Yankees, but when they play the Rays, it's going to be tough. So, and listen, it's the Yankees. I, I could, I could be hard on them all I want, <laughs> you know. But, but you never know. You never know. I mean, it, the, the Yankees they could surprise us and and play spoiler. But I, at this point, I just I'm I'm just so done with this year that. Just get us to. Just get us to the end of the season and make some changes, please. That's all I'm asking. So, but um, but yeah, that's basically it when it comes to the uh, American League playoff picture. Uh, the Twins, like I said, they'll have their division wrapped up. The AL West, it's who knows. AL East, who knows. The number two and number three wild card spots, who knows. It, it's those are are still left to be decided the only one that is isn't is the central the central is pretty much going to be wrapped up that's the, the right now where the twins are that's where they're going to be when they clinch they're that's where they're going to be they're going to be that the third team third the third seed when it comes to the, the divisions um you know and they're going to play one of the wild card teams and who knows? I they they could be eliminated. I could see it. Just because of the recent history with how the Twins have been in the playoffs, you know, it it doesn't go well. But I don't know. I don't know. Excuse me again. Um and you don't want to make guarantees because you know, when you're wrong, you look dumb and believe me, I, th I said Texas was going to be the out on the outside looking in. Now look at them. The Diamondbacks, look at how they've been playing. The Cubs, they've been playing worse. It, it's That's why it's, it, it's scary to make predictions because, you know, you just, you never know. So, um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to the uh, the playoff picture. So then in the... In the following segment, in the final segment of the show, we are going to talk about the National League playoff picture. So we'll move on to that when we get back from break. And yeah, I mean, that's that's one that gets even crazier just because there's more teams involved with it. And it's that's always changing as well. I think uh, now with the American League, you know, some of the teams that have still mathematically have been in it for the, for the last couple weeks, they're going to be eliminated so it's really just going to be it's really going to come down to the al west and the blue jays with those spots because raising the orioles there nobody's catching them for the top spot in the uh, wild card race and um and you know whoever wins the east is going to have the best record and have home field so um but like i always say We'll wait. We just got to wait and see. So with that, we are going to take our final break of the show. And then when we come back, we'll go over the scores from last night with the National League and the, um, the current standings at the moment. So stick around and we will be right back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. 